power query power query sometime you are receiving document in this format and you want to create your own pivot table or to do your own analysis and this is already summarized into a, a certain report but you don't need this uh, to be in this way and you want all these uh, columns to be transformed into this format so you can have your own category subcategory dates and cost it's very easy let's open our excel and see how you can do that you have first uh, go to excel then you go to this data tab then you get data from file from excel workbook it depend where your file is located then once you click it uh, my files are located in the desktop in the folder called expenses and these are the uh, source of the files now I select one of it then I click import to import it into my power query of Excel once I select it we have load and transform we need to transform so we can convert those columns into rows now the first step we can do here is to remove the subtotal as you remember from our source we had some subtotal actually you can't access uh, uh, the Excel when you open a power query but if you remember we had some subtotal for each category now we have to remove it just select total when you write total we can uncheck this so we can have a data set only with category and subcategory then from that point I have to add another column so we can have a column for category separated from this subcategory I add column then from custom column I just select it then we want uh, to call it category category then I will say for the first column I'll just double click this first column which is this one from our power query I'll write a function here say if in column one we have uh, this value called employee cost employee employee, employee cost then we expect to have another column with the value called employee cost let's just copy this one copy it and paste here then we'll do for the rest of the other category here I'll, I just click enter then I'll paste here click another enter then this is for employee cost for market cost we have employee cost we have office cost we have market cost and the last one is training and travel cost so here we can say s it give us a check for uh, the second is office cost came okay, here right s another one here is market cost market cost market cost it is called marketing marketing cost then oh sorry here office cost that it has to give us office and market cost it has to give us market cost here then uh, training and travel training slash travel it is small case travel also it has to give us training and travel cost also here we have to write s and here we have to write else and actually the last one will be else now we have this four category I will click OK. We have additional column here called category. We can move this column at the beginning so we have our category and this is category. In order to unpivot this uh, 
columns uh, with period, we have first need to select the old document, then go home, then we use first row as header. Now we click that. Once you do it, then uh, what you expect is uh, having this uh, column for period. And for that case, we can remove all other uh, subcategory that are titled with period. Before that, we have to fill in all these uh, gaps. So just select it, then we fill down. Why we fill down? Because all these are the cost, all these are market, and all the below are travel. But here, we have uh, employee cost, and actually we didn't manage to do that because uh, we uh, promoted this uh, row to, to the header. But we can just replace this uh, now with employee cost. That is easy. Just go to replace value here. Then replace now with employee cost. Employee cost. Let's say okay. Now we have employee cost category. Then here this is subcategory. Subcategory. And the rest are the period that we need to transform. Let's remove this last column which represents the year summary. And then we have to remove all this period in between. Let's select, search for this, and check. Click OK. Now we have a very clean document that we can analyze. But before we do that, let's go to our final uh, function, which is to, uh, to unpivot. Then I just selected that uh, first column, the January one, and the last column, December. Then click Shift, you will select all. Then you just uh, right click that one, then you unpivot. Now we have dates here. We have dates and we have costs. Costs. It's like that. We can convert this to date. And we can convert this one to current, so we can just uh, we can put it into all numbers. Then we can load this to Excel. Once you do it, you have already created your own data set that it can be easy to analyze. With uh, oh, we forgot uh, to change this. We can rename it here, but to be uh, consistent, make your own changes from the Power Query. It can be easy if you have another file, then you just uh, want to add below this table. So here to be category. So all this step will be recorded. And once you add another file, it will uh, put them in this format. You see, it is now easy and you can select this one. It add comma to make it readable. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like and share with your friend. See you next time. Bye.